Hey everybody, Mike here. Today we're gonna go pick up some very big car parts in the world's smallest car. First of all, I want to tell you about my pride and joy, other than my two children. This is my pride and joy. This was my father's 1975 MG Midget that he had in my hometown. This was his car. He drove it to and from work every single day, rain or shine, sleet or snow. Um, and when he passed on, my brother had it for a while, and then I got it from my brother, and I did the restoration myself. So don't look too close at the paint. It's, I have to admit it's a rattle can paint job. I do still need to sand it, but I think it looks good. I still need to get a mirror. Please don't hate because the mirror right there is missing. You see, I'm still a proud OSU Posse member. That's been there since, I want to say, the 80s. Um, and this is just a fun little car to drive. 54 total horsepower. So when I'm actually putting in some gasoline and some kids come up and they say, ooh, cool car. How fast will it go? And I say, well, 55, maybe 60. How much horsepower? And I say, 54. They're not even interested anymore. It's not fast enough for them. But what we're gonna do is go pick up a couple of parts for the C-Class right there. And we're gonna put them here because my SUV is in there in pieces. So we're gonna see what we can put on the back here. I do have some towels and some movers blankets and all of that kind of stuff and some rope we're going to tie everything on the back right here and we're going to see if we can make it home okay are you guys ready oh i call her millie by the way so mike and millie go to the junkyard i want you to listen to the sound of quality as i close the door right here this is just like a mercedes when it closes the door you want to hear okay maybe not quite like a mercedes more like a tin can but hey it's an MG Midget from the 70s, so it certainly isn't well made. Not that I'm hating, I love these cars, and this one I'll keep forever, and it has everything you need. You got the RPM, water temperature, oil, your fuel, and she'll hold, I think it's like seven and a half gallons or something like that, so it doesn't cost much. And the mileage, she has 50,000 miles on her. That is original. Okay, remember this? You get to pull the choke out a little bit when you start it, and... Oh, listen to that. Let me rev it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now, the fun part about driving a little car is when you pull up to someone, this is kind of what you see. If it's a big truck, their exhaust is right there in your face. If it's another car, like that's my uh, another older Mercedes right there, they're so much taller than you. The car is teeny tiny little bitty four cylinder we're going to try to back it up and then we're going to take it for a spin and i'll try to hold this so you can see some of the driving but i don't want to get in trouble with the police Let's see if i can finagle my way out of here and just give you a little taste of what it's like air conditioning yeah right there these little side windows open remember those from the from the day, from back in the day. Oh, this is not power steering. So this is a huge steering wheel that I'm using right here. The audio is gonna go bad, I apologize for that. Look at her, isn't she pretty? Had a chance to warm up right now, so what we're gonna do is push the choke in a little bit. Watch the RPMs kind of drop. Look at that. This is old, old school. When I pull it out, RPMs go up. And when I push it back in, they go out. And you just want it to set like at around eight or 900 RPM. That's what's best for Millie here. This is what I call Millie. But as you can see, other cars seem pretty big when you're in the midget, in the midge.
A few moments later. Oh shit! Shit, 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 shit. Okay, did you feel the bump? Yeah, I literally just rear-ended somebody, um, a super nice guy. I wasn't going half a mile an hour, but the guy got out and looked at his car. There was no damage, um, and I offered to, you know, pay for whatever scrapes or buy him lunch or something. He was super nice, and he just liked the car, and he said, just be careful with it, and I said, well, this was my dad's, and he said, yeah, it's a nice car, just don't hit anybody else. So, lesson learned, Goober Mike, do not film and um, drive at the same time. That was close, because I wasn't going, I, it was just like this. That's what I was doing, and I bumped into him. Um, no damage on his car at all. So, sir, whoever you are, thank you very much. And I'm going to stop doing this until I get to the junkyard. Okay. And mission almost completed. Take a look at that. We have a door. This is the passenger front door. And we have a bumper right there, both in really good shape. This is a good place to go to here in Oklahoma City. But um, yeah, I kind of look like a goober driving home, but that's okay. I've done, I've done crazier things. So we're going to get this on the road. We're going to drive very, very carefully. And then we're going to take this pile of parts home and put them on that C-Class. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. Don't forget, safety first. Yes, the seat belt is on. I have all the parts in the back and we are going to HDR, hit the road. And just like that, we are back home. No accidents this time on the way back. So that is a big bonus right there. And we have the door. We have the bumper right there. They are ready to get put on the car. That's gonna be in another video. But thank you guys for coming along and watching me take my little MG Midget out for a ride. I really love this car. Maybe we'll work on her a little bit in another video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for the comments. I have a whole bunch of thumbs up couple of thumbs down. That's okay. I can take those too. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.